We welcome at CapTrader, Chris Wright from Defiant Silver. Welcome, sir. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about your project that you have. Well, we actually have two projects. Defiant Silver is a Mexico-focused exploration project. Um, our legacy asset um, is the San Acasio Silver asset located in Zacatecas, Mexico, right, right in the middle of, of Mexico. Um, our other project is uh, the Tapal Gold Copper Project located in the state of Michoacan, which is on the west coast, southwest of Guadalajara. Uh, both advanced, uh, very good quality, I think legitimate standalone company making projects. And uh, what's the game plan for any retail investor? Is it going to into production or is it just exploration which you will sell down the road? We're an exploration company. I think going into production is a very, very different undertaking. And um, we have a team that has done that before, um, but it is not the immediate objective of the company. Our goal is to advance these projects as much as we can um, to be able to um, partner or sell them or monetize them in some way, shape or form for our investors. Yeah, yesterday you told me your story, how you uh, came to be the CEO of the company. That's right. Yeah, it's um, it's been a, it's been a, uh, an interesting journey. You know, we got involved. Uh, my firm, Windermere Capital, we're the largest shareholder. We got involved back in 2014 when we made our first investment. Um, it uh, we've worked closely with the company through the bear market to make sure that you know, it, it's it stuck around and the assets were still viable. And then in uh, and then in the spring of 2019, I actually joined the board of directors and became chairman. And then shortly thereafter, I took on the role of, of CEO. So it's been a complete wholesale change of management and the technical team. And I think, you know, the results speak for themselves. Our, our shareholders have, uh, have been well rewarded in the last two years. And uh, the company is definitely on the on the right path as, as far as I'm concerned. Wait, which project is uh, further down the road, the silver project or the copper one? Um, they're both advanced, uh, but they are very different. Um, so the gold copper project, Tapal, um, actually has a pre-feasibility study on it that was done in 2012. There was a PEA done in 2013 and then updated again in 2017. So there, it's, it's had more exploration. There's been about $27 million spent on the project, more than 60,000 meters of, of drilling. So it's advanced in that regard. Our, our goal is to get it so that it is truly development ready, shovel ready. Um, so there, there are certain things that we need to check off, permitting, et cetera. Um, Zacatecas is, is different in that it, it's, it's, it's an old mining camp. There's been mining going on there for more than 400 years. Um, this is a past producing mine. There's more than 100 million ounces of silver that have been mined um, we think we've managed to more than triple our land package. We're now the second largest land holder in the, in the camp. We're actively drilling. So um, it's advanced in terms of, uh, well, it, it's just been worked for a long time. And we know that we know that there's metal there. Um, we know that you can take it out of the ground because it's been done for hundreds of years. Now our goal is just to um, build the resource there so that it's uh, a meaningful number. Uh, what's up with Mexico jurisdiction and the political situation there? You know, mining's difficult anywhere, um, and the political situation in Mexico um, has, you know, uh, been in you know not exactly mining friendly. I wouldn't say for the last number of years. That being said, we have a very experienced uh, local team on the ground, and we've been getting very, very good response from the government. You know, our last uh, drilling permit for Zacatecas we got in 12 days, which is unheard of. Um, so our team is working very closely with the government and, and very skilled. So um, it's always a challenge, but we're, we're finding a way. ESG is uh, nowadays a hot topic, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Are the people there welcoming your presence there? Oh, in Zacatecas? Absolutely. You know, it's a mining state. It's, uh, it's one of the major mining states. It's the, mining is the largest contributor to the GDP in the, in, in the state. Um, there are mines that have been operating there, you know, as I said, for more than 400 years. Um, so there's a long, strong history. The community is very supportive. Um, environmentally, you know, I think it's just good business to, to maintain the highest standards and practices. And, and that's, that's what we do. And uh, the catalyst, possible catalyst in the next year, in the coming year for the retail investor? Well, we're drilling now. We started drilling last year. Uh, we've put out very, very good drill results earlier this year. In fact, the drill results we put out in September 
were the highest grade uh, results that Defiance has ever drilled on the property. So um, very good re results. The team is doing a fantastic job. We've just started the next phase of drilling on a, on a new property that we've uh, acquired through an option agreement with Pan American Silver. Very prospective. So, um, you know, we're drilling the second hole on that property right now. We expect to see uh, results early in the new year once we, uh, you know, depending on the labs, obviously. Um, so I think the near term catalyst, other than strategic initiatives, which clearly we can't discuss, but um, it would be drilling. And your risks? It's mining. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 as I said, it's, it's difficult. It's, uh, you know, there's, there, there are risks everywhere. We do what we can to, to mitigate them. I think largely we've, we've taken the biggest risk off the table by being well-funded. You know, uh, we have uh, more than $17 million in the treasury, which is our budget is well-funded for, for, you know, almost 24 months. So that, for most junior mining companies, is the biggest risk, and we've, we've dealt with that. The others, uh, you know, we will take day to day. And your experience, uh, what uh, will it take, how long will it take to sell one of the projects? One, two, three years? Um, I think that the large, probably the most influential factor in monetizing any asset is the underlying market backdrop, the macro environment. And this, this is a very cyclical sector. Um, so in bad times, it doesn't matter how good a company or good an asset you sure. have, it's very difficult to, to get any sort of value for it. In good times, likewise, even those projects that shouldn't be that valuable tend to get, tend to get a bid. Our objective is to advance these projects as far as we can, make them as valuable as possible so that when that market environment returns, we'll be able to do what's best for our shareholders. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know when that's going to be. Yeah, today at the gold mess, we heard uh, one uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, one uh, speaker uh, telling us about green alarm at uh, gold and uh, possible reaching new highs in the near term. So it uh, looks good from a mac macro perspective. You know, the macro environment, I think, not, not just for gold and silver, but for commodities, period, I think is, has, is, hasn't been this positive in a, in a long time. So I think we're probably at the earlier stage of this cycle than, you know, than later. So it's a good time to be an investor in commodities. So in three years, I would be happy if I have invested in Defiance. I would, uh, I would think so, yeah. I, would, um, I think it's, uh, you know, I think our assets are undervalued at the current market price, and I think there's a lot of upside. So uh, I, I would urge anybody who has an interest in the sector to take a good hard look at our company. Uh, have you yourself convictions? Uh, are you buying right now? Uh, we have had insider buying. Um, you know, my firm is still owns more than 20% of the company, so there are some restrictions on on me being able, uh, you know, to transact in the stock. But um, I'm, we're not uh, we're not looking to uh, to reduce our position. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.